Hi everybody, welcome back to RimWorld. Welcome back to Poopsville. Theo, Frito, Svetlana, Kepler, all sleeping. Kepler's got a new bed uh, that we made for him. And um, we're currently trying to cool down the food in our refrigerator, our big uh, food storage area, because it's hot in there and all the food is spoiling, especially the meat is going bad. And uh, we don't want the meat to go bad. Definitely not, because people are going to get food poisoning and then eventually probably die, which is not the best. Kepler has woken up. He's eating a meal that hopefully has not spoiled. Svetlana as well. Kepler is going to try to do the cooler. It looks like he's done it. it he's had... He's... Okay. Perfect. He's got everything he needs. We got power. There's an ancient... What? As Svetlana draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes her. She isn't sure why, but she feels that this dusty structure may contain great danger. Right, okay. I sort of called that. Remember I said maybe there's something in here like a gigantic spider or maybe like, uh, maybe Hitler but made out of like nuclear weapons entirely, like Robo Hitler or something? Anyway, it is ancient, it's dangerous, and we don't want to know what's in there, so let's never go in there unless we absolutely have to. All right, we've deconstructed parts of the ship uh, that crashed. Darby is still dead as hell here. We could probably do with burying him. Um, do we want to bury him? And how do we do that? Joy? No, it's not joy. It's secu It's not security. There's traps here and stuff too. There's a marriage spot. Okay, we'll make a grave for him. Uh, let's start burying like our intruders and stuff maybe out here, uh, just in the middle of nowhere. Because we don't want to remember these people. And then we'll make like a really nice, sexy, lavish graveyard for uh, the actual colonists when they die. Great. Okay. Uh, are we going to bury him? Yeah, we are. Are we going to say a couple of nice words for him? No, we're not. He was a drug-abusing asshole who tried to raid Poopsville. And we had to take him down to Chinatown. One of the moons of this planet is orbited in front of the sun. An eclipse has begun. Okay, so we're not going to be getting any um, solar power on this day of eclipse. Luckily, we have a whole bunch of uh, stuff stored up in the battery. Uh, just like from uh, over time, which has been really good, actually. Oh, the psychic drone has ended as well. So now all of the women of the colony are feeling much better. Uh, and this is good. Okay, great. Frito, you might as well get out here and harvest some plants, I guess, uh, for now. We'll store up the berries now that we can refrigerate them. Uh, let's see, how many days? Spoils in three days. It's not refrigerated. Is this thing actually on? Should be. Uh, the target temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. Um, the current power usage is high. And I, I'm not sure what the temperature in this room is right now. Can we, can we check? Like, would these wooden doors keep the, the heat, like, or, or the coolness contained? I'm not sure, actually. Is it temperature? Is there a way to check it? I'm sure there's got to be a way, right? Or do you just check it like this? It doesn't actually say that it's refrigerated or not, but... Anyway, it's aiming for 21 degrees Celsius, so... And we can lower it a little bit if we want to. Uh, we can lower it by, like... Oh, look at this. Connected rate so okay, okay, let's put it like What what's good 14 degrees or something? Will that refrigerate it cuz like 21 degrees is like room temperature, right? I guess we want it to be like zero, right? We want it to be really cool But we don't want it to freeze So let's make it like one degree Celsius because we'll freeze everything and then just like thaw it out and then it'll be fresh fresh like the day it was hand-picked from the fields <laughs> Man, I don't know if that'll work, but we'll see. The berries definitely... Oh, look, it's fresh and it's refrigerated now. It's going to spoil in a year, apparently. But if we lower this down, like, one more and freeze it, if we, if we actually make it zero, it's frozen. It'll never spoil. Okay, perfect. Pork berries and squirrel meat. It's refrigerated. Okay, we're going to chew through the power like crazy, but it's fine. We'll get some wind turbines and stuff, right? Right? Wind turbines? We just need two components and some steel? Look at the size of this thing. It's crazy. It's huge. Okay. We don't have enough of it stored, but I'm sure we can find some laying around. This thing is absolutely humongous. Okay, maybe we won't build it just yet. How do we make components? We're going to have to figure out how we can make some more components. Frito is just like uh, burning the midnight oil. Look, Frito is working at the research table. No, okay. She 
decided to go to bed. Escape pod relationship, what? You've detected an escape pod crashing hard nearby. If anyone survived the impact, they'll be badly wounded. You can rescue them and send them on their way or capture them for recruitment or slavery purposes. Blackwell has a relationship with the colonists. He is Svetlana's husband. No fucking way. Hey, look at him. He's out. It's Blackwell. He's an altruist. He's this male space refugee and he's been injured. Is he bleeding out though? I don't think so. Okay, Svetlana. Can you... Shot by Svetlana. He's been shot by Svetlana for some reason. What in the hell? How do we make it so that Svetlana can actually like apprehend him? Is it possible to do that? Or does Theo have to do it? We have to make somebody the sheriff, right? Who's going to be our like our sheriff? Do we need somebody to become our sheriff? Probably. But I'm not sure how. And maybe because these guys are asleep. Wait, did he just leave? Man, dude just fucking walked off the map. <laughs> Shit. What the hell? Everybody was asleep when he crashed and now we can't rescue him. He's gone. Svetlana's husband, who was shot by Svetlana, has left. Yeah, he's just like, you know what? I, I, don't, I don't ever want to see that crazy bitch again. <laughs> he just left. All right, well, fair enough. Fine. Blackwell was never destined to join our proud troop of uh, people. So there you go. Well, what can you do about that? All right. Svetlana, in retaliation, will have to wake up and slay many woodland creatures. Because that's the best way to do it. Is this super... This is rich soil. Okay, we need to clear all this up and plant some farms here. This stuff is okay. Um, it's... It's 100% fertilized, apparently. But this rich soil is going to be even better, right? Oh, shit. Okay. This is not good. This is not good. We do have some power coming online, though. Because we have the solar panels. But we're going to need, like, a generator or something. Uh, or maybe this, like, wind turbine. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're going to get this wind turbine. Requires a large clear space in front and behind for optimal airflow. Okay, this is fine. We're going to do this. We're going to get optimal airflow right here. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to hook this up. What happened? Unhappy nudity. I see. Let's just... These colonists are nude and not happy about it. Kepler. Get them some clothes. You can tailor apparel at a tailoring table or buy it from traders. We have low medicine as well. Um, apparently, well, we have some medicine just sitting out here, actually. But um, it doesn't seem to be doing anything right now. Okay. Let's hook this through let's let's hook this through not the solar panel if if possible we'll, we'll like hook it through here and then up perfect okay we have a wind turbine and it's wow okay look at this thing go this is fucking great it seems windy look at how windy it is today this should generate some power for us as uh, as well as our solar panels too okay we're butchering this stuff. We should be able to keep on top of these simple meals, which are currently uh, refrigerator, refrigerated and frozen. The aim is to get them frozen. Okay, you know what? Minus one degree Celsius. Bulk goods transfer from the Red Butterfly Krika is approaching. What? A caravan from the Red Butterfly Krika is approaching. They are a bulk goods trader. They will hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. You can attack them, but this will anger their faction. Okay. They're going to come in here and try to bulk trade with us. I have nothing to bulk trade in return with them. Um, but that doesn't really matter. Holy crap. Okay, this is fucking fantastic. We now have a wind turbine. But look, and look at it. Oh, look. Here comes the caravan as well. They've got like little dogs and stuff. They've got like a whole bunch of little chihuahuas and stuff. Oh, Th is Theo being sick? Is that barf? Yeah. Theo just vomited five times out here, and Kepler is just waiting around in it now in the nude. And now Theo's got to clean up her own barf. Okay. Well, hopefully we can stay on top of this refrigeration. Uh, that would be ideal, right? Keeping things refrigerated. Looks like the wind turbine is losing a bit of juice, but uh, it's all right because the battery is now storing a ton of power, which is really good. Do we want to bulk trade with these guys? I feel like not really, but at the same time... I mean, I don't even know actually how to trade with them. I guess you have to, like, 
you need to have like somebody who can go up to them and talk to them or whatever, but uh, I don't know. Trade with Trumpet, bulk goods trader. Okay, Frito is gonna go do it. Frito, do you even understand their language? Oh my God. We could buy it. it they, they have chinchillas and they have some Yorkshire Terriers as well. These actually cost like quite a bit of money. What else do they have? They've got some, this is all my stuff, right? I've got some components. You know what? Let's trade them the Luciferium. Great. Okay. We don't want this drug. We don't want these drugs on hand in case anybody is. Okay. Fine. Accept. Okay. We've done it. They've taken it. They've taken the drugs. Back to researching. Good job. Hey, this is great. We have some money now. We've made some trades. Now we have some currency, so we can trade for better stuff when we need to, like possibly some magical beans or, God, who knows, like some seeds or something would be really good. Uh, what else do we want to build in terms of, like, um, stuff that we need to start producing? Like a sculptor's table? I don't think we need that right away. We desperately need some clothes. Oh, look. Pig's pig. He's got some pants right here. We're going to force Kepler to wear these. Okay, there, at least he's got some pants now, jeez. Okay, do not make more pants. Okay, now let's make a t-shirt. We just want, we just want one pants and one t-shirt for Kepler. Cause currently, oh my God, it's just started to rain. Okay, that's fine. The caravan should be leaving pretty soon. With any luck, we'll have enough leather here to make a t-shirt. What are you guys doing? Who said you guys could come inside? That's that's really rude. If I had more dudes, I would take them out. Big time. Oh, man. That is so rude. Okay, see you later. Come on. Move along now. We gave you your drugs. Hopefully they get, like, horribly addicted to it. Well, hopefully not, though. Because now that we've given them the drugs, what if they get addicted to them and then they come back looking for more and we're like, ah, sorry, we don't actually... Uh, but you know, we don't actually have any drugs, uh, and and then and then they kill us. Fuck, that'd be terrible. Um, manufactured medicines. We medicine. Okay, look. Let's put the medicine in the cooler as well, so that it's not just sitting outside. Because you know these these caravan guys, you never know. And they might try to steal it or something. I think we need to like dump this or somehow. I don't know, put it in the trash or repair it somehow, maybe. Are we able to even repair stuff? I'm not sure. I like the lights. Okay, finally the trade caravan is leaving, for goodness sake. And poor Kelvin's box. We should have gotten a replacement cat for Kelvin. That would have been nice, actually. But sadly, no. The, the, the cat box is just going to be a constant reminder to Theo that, you know what, actually, let's deconstruct it. Let's put let's put Kelvin behind us. Let's forget that the whole thing ever happened because it was terrible when that bear just sprang out of nowhere and destroyed Kelvin and then Svetlana had to take him down with like 500 shots from a rifle. I'm glad that you don't need bullets in this game because we'd be screwed if that was the case. Can you imagine? Holy shit. Hey. There's a dead ram here. Oh, okay, great. That that can go towards the t-shirt. Nice. Svetlana's wasting no time. She's going to go out there and she's just going to pick up that dead ram and bring it back. We're going to butcher it up. We're going to get some ram leathers, I guess. And then Kepler's going to have a t-shirt that's made exclusively from ram leather. Nice. Is this stuff frozen? It's pretty frozen. Okay, nice. Let's go down like a couple more degrees. Let's keep it like really frozen just to make sure. We'll go like minus five in there. Nobody's going to want to go in there. It's kind of annoying that this is like a, you know, like a, a thoroughfare because it's it's constantly going to lose heat and we're going to have to constantly, or sorry, lose like uh, coolness and we're going to ha constantly have to top it back up, but that ah, doesn't really matter. I think for now it's fine. As long as this stuff is frozen and it won't spoil, perfect. Okay, excellent. Uh, what's next? Besides making a t-shirt for Kepler. I guess we want to like slay more animals possibly uh, or do we want to wait for some of them to like regenerate a little bit. It's not windy at all today so the wind turbine's not doing shit. Um, but it, it is sunny enough I guess 
beavers. A group of hungry alpha beavers have just arrived. Try to eliminate them before they decimate every last tree in the... Fuck me, really? Oh, Lord. All right, Svetlana. You got your work cut out for you. It's beaver hunting time. We got to get out here and we got to destroy these beavers before they destroy all of the trees. We need the wood. Oh, look, he's already started. Oh, my God. They chopped them down really quick, too. Oh, Lord. Okay, Svetlana, good job. Yeah. Don't miss them. Just one shot all of them, for Christ's sake. Oh, come on. Okay, she got a she got a taste of one. Oh, my Lord. How many shots does a beaver take to kill? I mean, I'm from Canada. I don't even know the answer to that question. I don't even think I've ever seen one in the wild before. I mean, they... Talking of squirrels being dangerous and having, like, sharp teeth and stuff, beavers are even worse. Like, have you ever seen their teeth? Holy crap. Look out. You do not want to mess with a beaver. Like, I'm sure that they would actually bite your arm right off if you gave them the... Man, Svetlana's aim is really... Alright, well, I can't watch this anymore. Hopefully... I mean, we can hear it in the distance. Lots of shooting. Um, but that's about it. Okay. Just in case, then, let's get a chopping before... Because if they come in here and they ravage this whole area, we're, we're screwed. We're dead. So we're going to chop these trees down and make use of them before that can happen. All right, perfect. And uh, maybe we'll build some more stuff, too. So what, what do we currently have? We have four beds and we have four people. We have four benches for them to sit at and eat. Um, there's enough work to go around, for sure. There's always, like, something cropping up that we could eat. What's this? This is, uh, uh, what? This is not rough slate. Nice. Frito's gotten food poisoning from a simple meal. Great. These simple meals are just poisoning the shit out of everybody. I don't know what we need for fancy meals. I think we need more ingredients. Oh, okay, Svetlana has destroyed one of the beavers. She's going out to... It took all that time for her to kill one freaking beaver? There's no way! Svetlana, look! It's all its gonna all be your fault when there's no more wood left. We're gonna have to grow some more trees. You know how long that takes? It takes forever. <laughs> it takes like a lifetime in some cases. Minor break risk? Who's having a break? Theo? What? Oh, is it because they're wandering idly? Like, why don't you chop down some trees or something, you sons of bitches? Jeez. Now they're just going to go to bed now. Man, Svetlana's aim is terrible. Jeez. I, I mean, maybe Kepler would be a good shot if he was actually capable of, you know, being violent. But he's not, sadly. So what can we do in that case? I don't know. Jesus. I guess we probably need some defenses at some point. We're going to need some soon, right? Uh, we can make some sandbags. Should we make, should we construct like some sandbags like here and then we can get the, the people that we need behind these sandbags in case? I think this is a good, a good one here. Look at this. I don't think we can make a turret yet though. I think we have to research turrets. But look, you know, when shit does hit the fan, we can hide all of the people like Theo and, and Kepler inside, inside the cooler. Um, we can like uh, we can just like do the cryo freeze on them until the hostilities are over, and then Frito and Svetlana can come out here behind these sandbags and fight people. It's like realistically, we'll probably do like another raid at some point, right? Oh, you know what? Let's let's cancel this because I hope these beavers are all asleep or dead. Has she killed most of them? No, she hasn't. I think they killed a squirrel. Um. Jeez, is this one dead? Okay, good. There's She's killed a couple of them at least. But there's still three alive that we need to get rid of. Fucking alpha beavers, man. Jeez, that's the last thing we needed realistically. That, that was one of the worst things that could happen. All right. It looks like uh, another day of... Oh, no, it is a little bit windy. Okay, the wind turbine is slowly revving itself up. This is good. And the solar panel is also slowly revving itself up which is good frito is eating some breakfast kepler still waiting frito has just gotten food poisoning from another simple meal frito uh, looks like kepler in his man pants but with no shirt on is out here um 
making sandbags, which is nice, actually. It's good. And Svetlana's having a sleep in because she's really tired from um, murdering beavers. But she's going to have to go out there and do it again. There's three more to go. Um, they've already just done so much damage to uh, the tree population out here. Uh, we have to stop them. There's a couple of them that are dead, though. Oh, this one bled out, I think? Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so there's only two alpha beavers left uh, for, Se for Svetlana to work on, and then we can start killing some of these raccoons and, like, this wild boar. There's a couple of squirrels. Actually, this whole place is teeming with wildlife, so we're in pretty good shape. Great. All right, well, we'll leave it there, and we'll come back next time and do some more. But so far, so good. Hopefully, the quest for Kepler's shirt to uh, be manufactured and for him to wear it uh, will be completed soon uh, because it's starting to um, get a little bit too sexy inside of Poopsville right now. Kepler is basically the Pillsbury uh, Doughboy of the operation. Oh, and it looks like our potatoes are ready to be harvested. Theo is out here harvesting potatoes. Nice. All right, well, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!